It's kind of a term that's used vaguely. And um, to be honest, you can turn a weight training workout into cardio. I mean, if you're if you're elevating your heart rate, you're training your heart. I mean, it's it's cardiovascular. Right. Um, it, it doesn't just you don't have to be on a treadmill or an exercise bike for it to be cardio. Anything you can do that that really stimulates your your heart rate. Um, it's training your heart. I mean, could be labeled cardio. I'm not totally against steady state cardio, um, but also, you know, I show people ways to do their workouts with without having to be on a treadmill for an hour. And you know, you get the resistance training, but you do the resistance training in a high enough intensity fashion that 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 acts as your cardio too. I mean, you know, with the way that that we can put things together in supersets, in circuits, in trisets, all of these ways we can combine exercises. I mean, you'll be more out of breath, your heart rate will be higher than if you were on a treadmill. I recommend that more than I do steady state cardio. I think you can get a much more efficient workout done in a shorter time period. Uh, so it's, it's just working at intervals instead of at higher and lower intensities. Um, I also think there's a, a increased um, benefit to strengthening your heart, uh, and, and I actually had a, an entire course on this topic um, about the increases um, on how uh, interval training can actually strengthen your, your heart more than steady state training, uh, such as jogging. But like I said, I'm not going to say don't jog uh, if that's right. what you like. Mix that in, but you've got to make sure that you're that you're mixing in other forms of training that are training your heart at totally different heart rate ranges. There, there is people that it, that it won't work for. It's the people that are aren't action takers and that don't do anything. You can't, you know, you definitely can't just read it and expect something to happen. You've got to take action, and right. and th- and that's why all of the pills and everything don't work is because a lot of people have that mindset they're just going to take this pill and it's going to change everything, and that's just not going to happen. Food marketing in today's world is just um, so ridiculous and it confuses so many people because of label claims. But let me give one of my sort of biggest level concepts. Um, and that, and let's, let's, so let's forget about carbs and fat and protein. Let's forget about all the different types of fad diets and, and all of this. It's not about that. Let's, let's think about it this way. Eat foods that are one ingredient. And that's like the biggest concept I give people. So stop buying foods that are in a box or in a package and have like 30 ingredients and chemicals and additives and all this stuff that's designed to fool your body and fool your taste buds and, and you know, these chemicals that, that, you know, stimulate your cravings and all this stuff. Eat foods that are one ingredient. That can do wonders for making people just learn how to eat right and not be fooled by food marketing. There's cereal boxes that are that are sugared cereals that are you know I mean that are they're like 70% sugar the the if not the first ingredient you know the second ingredient will be high fructose corn syrup and the third ingredient will, will be just plain sugar and then there's you know 12 artificial colors and and artificial oh. flavors Yikes. and and they're putting these heart healthy claims on the on the box, you know, like uh, there was one that was, it said something like reduces your risk for heart disease. And then there was another one that said good for your kid's immune system. And these are sugar cereals that are 60, 70% sugar. And you, even if they have a little bit of whole grain, you know, the main ingredient is still a refined grain, either refined wheat or refined corn. And the, and the reason they get away with this is just because they might add a few antioxidant Vitamins, minerals, they can make these claims good for your kid's immune system. Oh. And it's, and it's a, and it's just junk food. I mean, this is, mm-hmm. it's not good for any, anybody's immune system and, and it's not good for heart disease either. I mean, I don't care if it has, you know, 3% whole grain in it. If the rest of it's sugar and processed and, you know, refined grains and, and artificial chemicals, it's not good for your heart. So it's, it's so deceiving. And people fall for this because they look at what's on the front of the box. And that's another concept that I try and teach is stop falling for things that are on the front of the box and actually read the label and yeah. the ingredient label. 
and learn how to decipher what's on an ingredient label. And more importantly, if you follow my rule number one that I talked about with only buying one ingredient foods, then that takes all of that away. You no longer have to be fooled by what's, what's on, on a box because you're not buying boxes. Everybody can, can combine this into their life to still enjoy food, but enjoy it healthy. Enjoy the, the real taste of natural foods and not processed foods and still get, and get great results and, you know, and not feel like they're, they have to give up. I mean, sure, you might, you're going to want to give up processed foods, but you can still eat foods that are delicious. And, and that's one of my, my whole philosophies. You can't just make up for a horrible diet with a vitamin pill. It just doesn't work that way. Your body needs fat, and it's actually one of the most important macronutrients, um, you know, because it controls a lot of uh, hormone regulation in your body. And um, people that try and uh, cut fat intake too low, it's, it just automatically backfires because if you go too low, I mean, it's going to screw with, screw with your uh, hormone balance. And, uh, you know, things are going to be out of whack in terms of your appetite and cravings and, um, and even, uh, you know, just the balance of hormones in terms of being able to build muscle and, and burn fat. I'm talking about whole food, whole foods, you know, um, high fat foods like nuts and whole eggs and avocados and uh, coconuts and seeds, um, salmon and fatty fish, you know, things like that. Yeah. You know, these these fats are so important. It helps control your appetite. It helps, um, you know, maintain hormone levels. It's just so vitally important to get enough fat in your diet. Um, but you can't live without fat. You just can't argue with the fact that the stuff is just horrendous for your body. Uh, I mean, it's it's got, you know, the chemicals it has in it, the, the artificial sweeteners. Um, I mean, why would anybody want to drink that stuff? Like, why does carbonated chemical water sells so well right. <laughs> you know i mean if you think about it it's ridiculous why would anybody want to buy whether it's carbonated chemical laden sugar water or carbonated chemical laden artificially sweetened water why would anybody want to buy that and put it in your body um well I, because either they've got you addicted to the taste and that's part of the whole plan is um you know, some of these chemicals um, do get you addicted. And artificial sweeteners trick your body, even though you're not taking in any calories, they trick your body into an insulin response, which um, stimulates your appetite and cravings for more sweet foods or carbohydrate-rich foods later. So it, it tends to make people consume more calories, even though they're drinking a diet beverage. Hey, Mike. I really can't believe how much stuff we've covered today. You've really, really been very kind with your time, and I know we've been talking for a really long time now, and I've been very, very selfish with your time, um, but it's just been absolutely fascinating, and I just wanted to, to thank you uh, for your time. I really enjoyed the opportunity to speak with you personally and sharing your strategies with everyone here at girlwithnoname.com, and I know I can speak on everyone's behalf when I say this was highly appreciated and you've given us some very useful information to go forward with on our path to getting our own six-pack abs. So, again, thank you so much. Yeah, and I just wanted to say that, that I'm really proud of the, uh, you know, the, the transformation that you made. I, I saw your pictures, and, and you look uh, absolutely great. Oh, well, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. I appreciate it. <laughs> sure, no problem. And, 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 again, thank you for, uh, um, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy that you reached out to me, and, and it, you know, it means a lot to me to hear the success stories of people that have, you know, used my materials and it's helped change their life. And, you know, that's what I want to hear. And that's hopefully we can, um, you know, we can, we can help a lot of other people change their lifestyle and have more, more confidence and live in better health and have more energy and be stronger and, yeah. and look better.